Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today's video is brought to you by the channel Heavy Hails. I'm not sure if the person wants to be named that snagged this. One of my favorite modern metal bands. It needed glasses. Stress Angel! The Nemesis promo. Not an official Stitch and Black Hand release, but if you miss the Toronto show, I think it was, that's how you get a copy of this bad boy. And it is awesome. Like, seriously, awesome. If you like ripping black metal with, like, just killer riffs and I, I would kind of say actually like more of ripping death metal with black metal elements that's like the vibe I get and that's how I felt with like bursting church like it just it just had this oomph to it and like this kind of like just it, it sounds so evil riff wise and it's just awesome like, I, I, I haven't heard Rifts this evil since their full length. And the Horns and Hooves full length. But you have Punished by Nemesis, Ridicules of Death, and Jericho's Trumpet. Manny Soares on drums and vocals. Nikolai Orphis on guitar and keyboard. And Hank Blackyard on bass. And it was engineered and mixed by Michael... Mobis, just a killer, straightforward promo with a killer, frosty cosmetic. I just thought that was a nice design. And this is just such a killer release it's one of those that you i want you folks to go and check it out yourselves but i know not everybody really knows stress angel and you fucking should for real if you're listening to modern extreme music you need to know this band because they fucking Pretty much lay to waste almost everyone in the modern scene. They're one of those bands that, to me, just hit that fucking sweet spot that's, like, ancient sounding, yet, like, I could tell that it's kind of, like, that it's new, but, like, it's not following some trend. Like, it's not like there's, like, some part where it turns into a fucking entombed song, you know? There's none of that garbage on here at all. Just, I know my microphone sucks, but just, like, evil, like, kind of, like, early Slayer, Morbid Angel type, like, you know? Yeah. Reminds me of Superstition, but, like... A lot more like sinister than superstition, and superstition's fucking awesome. So it's bloodlust. I haven't heard. Well, I heard Predatory Life. I haven't heard the new album yet. I know I'm slacking, but new torture rack. Hails to Liz. But I'm just gonna blast this. Fuck it. <laughs> I've been listening to this, like, seriously, non-stop, like, it rained, luckily, and, yeah. Everything about this is... Fucking love, I love this shit so much. I 
I miss headbanging so much. No idea. to be three brand new tracks off the upcoming sophomore fucking full length. So don't sleep on that. Because for real, this is a band you want in your corner. I'm actually bummed I missed on like the Bursting Church tape. Like I have the purple LP which is badass. I just don't feel like digging it out. I should have dug it out ahead of time. It's just, it's so good. I know if I, but if I get it, I've been trying to listen to the new Death Grave and like go over it by the end of the week. Cause this is really fucking good, by the way, on Tank Crimes Records. But uh, yeah, I've been enjoying that a lot. The Macabre issue, like Sinister Slaughter hasn't got this many plays in my life since like 2005. Like, for real, it's been, like, forever, and I'm so happy about it. But with Stress Angel, because I know not everybody's going to zoom in on, you know, the interwebs, and I know not everybody's going to snag this, but from the jaws of death spills the blood of Christ. Follow me to them. Fighting through the fire. Arches forge the goat. Swallow horned phallus. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Dude, hails the stress angel for once again just blowing my mind with awesome and blasphemy. You know what? I give this album a war medal. <laughs> now this really will turn your your jewelry into chains. And that's cool. Like I mean that in the best possible way ever. Like, I, I'm all, like, decked out, <laughs> ready to take a war metal promo photo. But, like, seriously, listen to Stress Angel. This shit doesn't fucking play games. Total poser disposer. Like, the Nemesis promo is, to me, like, again, it's one of those, like, do you want to really argue, is it death metal? Like, I would say, yeah with black elements but it's like ripping 80s american black metal like kind of think of like von wait wait von's canadian fuck fuck i fucked up god damn it I, wait did i fuck up? i might have fucked up i might not have oh god damn it but anyways doesn't matter that's what it kind of reminds me of though is like that type of like just ripping like early morbid angel slayer like hella waste that's just like type of like guitar playing where it actually sounds like demons are coming out of your fucking speakers to like you know do whatever demons do but like seriously like that's how good stress angel is like if they're one of those bands like whenever i i like as soon as Somebody was like, yo, there's a new Stress Angel promo. I was like, you know, like it draws my attention. There's like, you know, a handful of bands that actually like I'll stop what I'm doing and like check it out or, you know, try and get a copy. Like the new Torture Rack, I was like stressing. I'm like, oh my God, like I just spent all my money. Like I'm dead broke. And here comes Torture Rack of a new record. It got taken care of. Hails to Liz. But, like, seriously, it was one of those, like, oh, no. Like, 
fuck. But then I remembered, not everybody again. I don't know how this is possible. Al Torture Rack is not, like, bigger than, like, Undeath and, like, those bands like that. Torture Rack, I understand they don't, they can't tour, like, Undeath and stuff. But, like, for real, when it comes to modern death metal in America, I I know, I'm not saying they're underrated, because they're obviously not. They're on 20 bucks spin, parasitic records, extremely rotten, head split, good underground record labels. So, like, obviously, they fucking rule, and I just feel like, they kind of get stepped over a lot of the times, not for witch vomit, although like they share members. And I know there's been I, I, I don't think JG is in witch vomit anymore. I think KP is. I'm not positive, but uh, I could just look at Abhorrent Rapture, but I don't feel like it. I'm sorry because this video is about fucking Stress Angel, but also. Yeah, I feel like Torture Rack gets fucking slept on, but the new album is ordered, but I don't have the demo, and it pisses me off that I don't have the Torture Rack demo, but I have everything else on red. My extremely rotten version of Malefic Humiliation got eaten, which was a bummer, but luckily, heads, well, the 7-inch, too, for Pit of Limbs, I don't feel like, pull, and I have the 12 inches as well, I just don't feel like pulling that shit out. I really want to get one of those clear copies of Malefic Humiliation on vinyl, but money doesn't grow on fucking trees. Join the Patreon account, for real. Support the channel so we can buy cool shit like that and talk about it. Because that gives me a reason to talk about some early torture rack. But the Nemesis promo by Stress Angel is a fucking... Yeah, if you can grab it before it sells, if it's not sold out already, grab this fucker. And enjoy. Because the Nemesis promo, I think, you know, a lot of people that watch this channel... You're gonna really, really enjoy this one. It's a total fucking banger. Like, seriously. Sorry, I just did wash. Hey, Larry. Hello. But, um, yeah. Go listen to Stress Angel. The Nemesis promo. Available through Stitch and Black Hand, but not officially a Stitch and Black Hand release. Get it? So, link will be in the video description. Thanks again for supporting the channel, and thanks for watching as always. You fucking rule. Hails. Mm -hmm.